So I'm Michelangelo Puliga, I'm from uh, uh, ETH Zurich. I'm a physicist working on the forecasting of economic crisis project. The recent financial crisis uh, uh, described a, different, a totally different world from the um, ideas that the financial institutions uh, have had of the, um, of the crisis and had of the possibility of outcomes in terms of uh, uh, financial indicators. The biggest change, in my opinion, was the fact that they now know that uh, big financial shocks of sites five times, times uh, bigger than the average shock you can expect on a normal market can happen. And so now they have to change and to think carefully about uh, uh, new tools to avoid big, uh, big uh, uh, problems on the financial system. In the past time, we had only the possibility to measure at several financial indicators relating to statistics or relating to financial time series and so on. Now we have also the possibility to uh, measure the perception of a crisis, so what people think about prior crisis and what people is uh, uh, w willing to do against the crisis. So when, when you see on Twitter, on blogs, or on, the, um, uh, on the internet world and the social media information about a crisis, you can measure and you can measure the perception, the sentiment regarding the crisis. My main contribution uh, to the forecasting of crisis uh, in Zurich is the realization of several visualization tools. The aim of those visualization tools are to popularize the results of a crisis and uh, making uh, uh, a visual tool to uh, explain how the crisis spread across the financial networks. Specifically, we invented a kind of visualization tool that is the centrality measure of the crisis. So, uh, if uh, a financial institution is in the center of the crisis, it appears in a region like a, a, a sink actually. So when a kitchen sink is drawing actually and sinking in the, in the financial system. In the previous approaches to financial crisis, it was missing the idea of using the powerful representation of the networks, the powerful representation of the modern science and the modern mathematics approaching to the financial crisis. So mostly uh, they are considering, still considering the financial institution as non-interacting financial institutions. For instance, just a few years ago, they were considering the financial institutions like too big to fail and just for the sites. No one was taking care of the connections across financial institutions. So for these reasons, we uh, uh, created now a, a visualization like uh, and an idea of too connected and too central to fail in terms of the centrality. Since uh, the crisis today is mostly related to politics, uh, so it's mostly related to how the political leaders are doing to fight the crisis or to follow up several ideologies uh, like the one that imposes the restriction now on the strict restriction on the European economies, we need something to make people aware of the means that they have to uh, counteract uh, the uh, decision of the political leaders. Since they claim to be the real experts, since they claim to be real technical guys, uh, the only ones able to understand the politics and, uh, and understand the economics, uh, as a scientist we need to create several tools that normal people can use to uh, uh, avoid uh, this false perception to have just uh, one vision of the economics, but we can have more than one vision. <music>